Welcome back to Chronos Plays Phoenix Wright Justice for All, and apparently this text is automated. But we are witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Alright, I like the belt buckle. The world's greatest magician. The one, the only Maximilian Galaxia what? What was the last name? Is Galaxia? Oh, whatever. Maximilian. You Dracula? Oh my god, he turned into a bat. He is Dracula! Are we in space? What's the Earth doing there? December 26, 8, 12 p.m. Very big circus, circus entrance. Very big circus. Oh, hi, Burl. Wow, that was like a being in a dream. I haven't caught up my I haven't caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? Oh, it was great. There was a dancing bear and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire and an elephant that rode a giant ball. And not to mention that guy who flew through the air. That's a new picture of you. It's less horrifying. Yeah, that was Max Galactica. Okay, that's that was his name, sure. Yeah, well, he was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What, what? Ma Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A magician? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick. Huh, what is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling a spirit? Some would say yes. I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know what about magic? Do you, Pearls? You don't know... Do you don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? Oh, are we taking care of you? I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. You had sheltered your entire eight years of life. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Korean Village, and it was during that trying time that I met Pearls. Are we her, like, guardians now? Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, it's time to go. I mean, that would be traumatic for this child to learn what her mother did for her, for her, pretty much. Even though she didn't want anything, she didn't want anything happen to Maya. You're right. We can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remember the train? Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, really. Okay, so am I not her guardian then? Oh, thank God. Are you gonna visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? M maybe? Oh, I'm glad you'll get to spend your New Year's with someone special. Or your special someone. Pearly, look! It's time to go! Happy New Year, Mr. Nick! Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. Ten bucks it won't! December 28th. Well, today wraps it up for this year. Now we can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Beep. Hello? This is right and go. Nick! It's terrible! Ah, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here, too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Uh, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? I can't afford one of those. Now let's check in on at the scene. Uh, did a magician man die? Huh, what happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene was created quite a, it has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The Berry... I mean, uh, the Berry Big Circus. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying there was a murder? Yeah, they arrested him too! Arrested who? Max! Okay, they arrested Max Galactica! Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A pop of the magician who can fly through the air at will. Ten bucks is the string there. I'm not gonna lie, but you look like you belong in a saga game. Like if you just 
like put a grainy filter over this and maybe a white background behind him. That is like a saga character. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. She got over her steel samurai's phase and now went with the shirtless magician phase. All right, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See you there. You still get plenty of time to clean up your offers later. What? Beep. Am I getting paid for this? Charlie, a quiet decorative plant, wouldn't mind his help cleaning this place up. Poster of the newest member of the Steel Samurai universe. Maya went out and bought it right away. She's a sucker for all things Steel Samurai. I hear there's even giving the new guy his own movie. There's no Maya is going to drag me out to see it with her. Apparently we're dating and we just haven't really confirmed it yet. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formal row. They mock me. I wouldn't mind dumping some of these off at the used bookstore. But that might not be such a good idea. Why? Do they have personal notes in it? If they have personal notes in it, you keep this shit here. If they don't have personal notes in it, donate them! Donate them to college! Do you know how much goddamn money college books cost? Give them to a law student! I mean, I... There's, there's personal notes in it. You know, you just keep them, man. Oh, we still got this thing. Oh, we don't have Pearl's thing anymore? It's kind of weird. Uh, all right, let's uh, move to the detention center. What are you talking about? Why did they arrest Mask? Mask? Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skill to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. <laughs> Fabulous. What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Welcome to the visitor's room! It's Max! Nick, look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie, pick a card, any card! Hey, oh, call me sweetie! Oh, Nick! I thought I was your special someone! Uh, time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card, or they'll drag me back to my cell. Um, uh, this one? Uh-huh. I thought you'd pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts! Ah, he got it! He got it, Nick! Look! He got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valuable possessions. One of Maximilian Galactic's hearts. Ah, uh, Max! Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card! Uh, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are- oh, how silly of me. You must be the sweetie's driver. A driver? Whatever, hurry up and pick a card, any card. Uh, I want this one. So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes! I'm your biggest fan! I'm a lawyer! Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous! Thank you so much! Uh, hey, uh, about my card. Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work! What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Oh, yes! Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe inducing. Um, hi, I'm a lawyer. What is this badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time, Max, you're. Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over anxious, I, I think. Whimper. Alright. Hi. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think you sh we should get to know each other better, too. I mean, I'm not that big of ages. Well, why don't you... Why don't you come visit... Uh, sit next to me? Because I think that's illegal. Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet bejeebus. What in the world? If only I could use my magic... Then I can make this wall disappear! What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? 
That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays, they get their pennies in a bunch over nothing. Anyways, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, didn't you? Indeed, indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It was an award that recognizes that I am the most fabulous of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible! Isn't it? I'm certified the great. Oh my god, I'm getting like lightheaded. It's certified to be the greatest magician in the world! Or I am. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. Uh, Very Big Circus? You signed through an exclusive contract with the, the Very Big Circus, correct? That long and sh that's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed! You just can't watch a magician on TV, no? Magic is so fabulous! You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie! One second. I might pass out. Alright! I think we're good. Yep, you're right! You're so right! However, the circus, it's a dinosaur! A thing of the past! Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is fabulously possible, uh, popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Ma Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur to the, that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yeah, I like really like the circus. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. I looks a bit down. Hey, never meet your heroes, right? Oh my god, my head. What happened? Tell me what happened at the Big Berry Circus. Ah, uh, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Did he have a big berry? Is that what the circus was named off of? After? Or was he just big? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over the desk. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to, be, to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening, in his room. Before I bashed him in the head. So, then why were you arrested? Yeah, then why were you arrested? Arrested? Oh, don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult me with... <laughs> consult with me on matches. That's all. Oh my god, this guy is absolutely delusional. Nick! He's an idiot! I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back to reality with this taser! Uh, meeting with Russell. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What do you What do you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I'm the one that brings in the crowd. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yeah, yeah. That's all you- That's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat. Oh, three locks, huh? Just fabulous. I mean, ah! Now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Oh, I'm just hallucinating rock, uh, locks, dots. Anyway, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't, don't be ignorant. Why would they arrest someone like me? Why is that? Oh, because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the Big Berry Circus. Or Berry Big Circus, yes. And that means... I'm rich, bitch! 
I'm a fabulous, um, paid, I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max, uh, quit joking around. You got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Well, dots. Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is a serious business. Um, mm, um, yeah. But, 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 I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? That's right, call me sir. I'm an attorney. Please help me! I didn't kill anyone! Didn't kill nobody? Oh, didn't kill no one. I, I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but I didn't to kill her. That is insane. I, I, I can never. M Max? I swear! I just wanted, wanted to pay off my daddy's debt! He, he got, he's back on the farm! Do I have to do another southern accent? Is everyone southern? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll take care of your case. Really? Really? Oh, thank you much! You're, you're sure all nice folks! Uh, Max? Your mascara is running, dude. What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Jones! What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin! Oh, your makeup got restored quick. Ahem! <clears throat> I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Uh huh. Mr. Attorney? Y yeah? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Uh, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How do you, you get it right again? What can I say? You two, you've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> You're putting my f I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. All right. I don't have a card. All right, bye. Circus entrance. What a very anime stand there. The standout picture, poster, whatever the hell that is. Display of Max. Bin -a Bob. We're here again. Yep, but this time we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Uh, first, let's examine. Look, look, it's Max! Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. There are the signs of his big, uh, very big circus. But looking around, it might as well be Circus Du... De, circus... Du... Galactica? Sure. The stars on this cheek are sure are dreamy. Oh shit, what the hell was her name? Oh, she shot a star out of her face. It was a cartoon. Oh shit. Is it Gem? Gem, is it Gem? Google, help! Let's see, one second. We gotta, we gotta see. Is it Gem and the something? Gem and the... Hologram do What? Gem and the hologram dolls? Gem and the holograms? Well, also, it's Gem is not spelled the... What do you mean 2015 movie? They made a live action gem movie? Kronos? What? I'm busy! Play the game, Kronos. Okay. No, it was like gem in the something, right? Cartoon. Kronos, you're wasting time. It was just called Gem. I thought it was Gem in the... Like the dream something. I don't know. Well, anyways. That was, they made a live-action Gem movie. What the hell? How about I draw a star on your chick, Neek? I got... Uh, Neek? <laughs> Neek? <laughs> Nick? I, I got a marker. Nah, 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 nah. It's all right. 
Also, you need, like, actual, like, face paint for that. It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention... Candy and popcorn! They even got snow cones! Oh, I love snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? You shut your goddamn mouth, Phoenix. Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around. There's tons of snow piled up all around here. That's different. Yay! Wait a second! There's no syrup, though! I want syrup! Hopefully she doesn't notice this, this color snow in the corner. That's not syrup. Ew. The very big top! It's so very... Enormous! Yep. <laughs> One look at that huge tent looming over you and realize this is a circus. I know, I know! It really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Gem and the magical something. That's what I remember. But apparently Gem and the Hall- Kronos! Sorry! This is the box office where they sell all the tickets for the circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came into the circus last time. So then why don't you buy one now? Huh. Sounds like a plan. Oh no. It looks like I forgot my wallet. Nick. Hint, hint. If you want me to pay for it, just ask me already. You know I never do that to you, Nick. <laughs> That's bullshit. No clues here. Door. Huh. The door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with the response, because I don't understand it. I bet all the stars stay at the lodging house. Alright, so, uh, move? Okay, we got a couple places. Let's go to the lodging house. Oh, we're outside, so I was like, this is the lodging house? It's full of snow! It seems like the dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into the stoogy clown here? Right? He's so kooky. Ah, uh, it's you two. Ah! Oh, Detective Gumshoe! How do you guys always seem to know where I'm working on a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective. And you're also the only detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but a crime with crime, you don't make your own hours. I mean... I guess that's technically true, because they can call you in. If I had to be at a circus anyways, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body. Stayed left. Nick, Nick, he complained. <laughs> that's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? I mean, the dude seems like he needs a goddamn vacation, right? He does seem to be like the only detective. There's no evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal! The killer's behind that tarp! Ah! Oh, gotcha! I was just kidding! Grrr! Ho oh, ho ho! Okay, Santa, calm down. This year, I finally won an air conditioner! What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your triceratops to work too? Some people don't want to use air conditioners. I personally don't get it. I like I mean I get it, they're bad for the environment for the most part, but at the same time, it gets hot as hell here and a lot of places in the world. Some people are like, oh, it's a dry heat. Yeah, so it's still uncomfortable and makes me want to die. So I'm gonna turn on an air conditioner. And then wrap up myself in my quilt and enjoy the cool air. Kronos, that's horrible. I know, I can't stop it though. Uh, what do you mean you want an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things. What? But I got lucky and I wanted a door prize at an annual police charity event. I know, dog, I know police officers. I've had them in my family. I have friends that are an officer. They can afford an air conditioner, man. You're a detective. Isn't that above an officer? Oh, then again, I guess Edgeworth and, like, Von Kammer have been reducing your pay. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter. Let alone peanuts. Peanut butter is super cheap talk. It's super cheap. No clues here. What are you talking about? The safety light around the circus are kept on all night. So they should have been on at the time of the murder. So you're saying the murder took place in the light? How strange. How strange indeed. Huh? I don't know why, but I kind of want to play Dark Cloud 2. 
Probably because of the circus. I never finished that game. It was fun, though. I liked Dark Cloud 1. That was a hard game. Uh, this is the only place the snow has been trounced upon. The murderer was sloppy leaving all these prints all over it. <laughs> no, 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 no! We're the ones who left the prints! Oh, good God. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes! It shouldn't be. What? I also slipped and fell on the spot over there! The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me! Oh, God. Thank God they were all in the snow around the... Uh, wait, what? They were, there was all the snow to bring down the swelling! It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. So is Bond Comer here, then? You said she whipped you. I'm assuming she whipped you when you fell. Now let's try what happened. You know what? We'll find out next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!